Hi, Els here, and today I'm going to introduce you to Accounts Receivable. In the last series of videos, you learned all about inventory and how, by gaining a better understanding of inventory control and pricing, you were able to make better business decisions. What other accounts besides inventory do business owners need more information about? That's Accounts Receivable, also called AR. Recall that Accounts Receivable represents a legal right to collect cash from a customer in the future. Business owners must review and analyze their Accounts Receivable balances on a regular basis in order to better understand collections and determine the effect of providing discounts for early payment. In addition, many Accounts Receivable outstanding at year end may need to be analyzed to ensure that the value published on the financial statements is equal to the future benefit of those receivables. In this series of videos, you'll be learning about the following concepts. One, what are accounts receivable? And why do businesses sell on credit anyway? Two, what happens if businesses overstate their accounts receivable balances? Three, how can businesses use the allowance method and estimates to better value their accounts receivable at period end? Four, how are accounts receivable written off when they go bad? And how do you record a payment from a customer who was previously written off? And finally, five, how are accounts receivable presented on the financial statements? All right, let's get started.